Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Veronica. For today's video, we have a first sniffs haul for Teddy Bees. But before we get into it, make sure you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're aware of all future videos. All right, guys, so I'm super, super excited. There's been so much hype around Teddy Bees. Where did I put the card? I just had the card right here. Where did it go? I think I'm losing my shit already. Oh, there it is. It's right under my butt. Okay, so um yeah i'm really excited about teddy bees um i know my friend robin has raved about her products and um i felt like i just i had to i really wanted to try it out i know a lot of people always ask me am i going to be trying other vendors even though i am my own wax vendor um and yeah i want to i want to try other people's waxes um i just feel like it's more fun like life would be so boring um if i didn't you know try other wax like i'm a wax fiend i'm a waxaholic i got into doing my own wax because i was obsessed with scentsy wax i just wasn't getting enough bakery um but anyways I'm really, really excited to try out her wax. We have here the thank you card. Very, very cute. And on the back, there are just some tips on how to better use the wax. Love that. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna get right into it. I'm so excited. Also, please forgive me. My nails are a mess. I'm always trying to grow out my nails. My nails grow out naturally, but look at this. This one broke. I'm so upset about that. So now I'm at this like do I cut them all down now or do I just like cut them down a little bit and let it I need to let it grow because I need to get my nails done um yeah anyways okay let's just um yeah I just, it's just in case it like bothered you seeing like my one short nail with the other long nails but it is what it is I've been meaning to film this I got this on Wednesday I got my order on Wednesday and I only smelled one thing so I'm very proud of myself anyways the sample we have here is Winter Fell, and I've already smelled this one, and I believe, let me just pull up the notes, this is Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, White Birch, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. This reminds me of something from Scentsy, I don't know what it is, but it smells beautiful, it's... It just feels like I'm walking outside and it's very cold and the cold air is just blowing in my face. Really, really pretty. I'm really, um, I, you know what? Today's actually pretty cold, so I think maybe I'll toss this sample in. It's a very cold day, even though it's spring. This weather's been really on and off. Okay, I don't know where we're going to start. We're going to start off with the souffles. Let's start off with that. Okay, so the first one we have here is Hot Pie. Everyone talks about this one. Also, I'm recording this a day after the RTS happened, and I really debated on going in on the RTS, and I decided not to just because I'm trying to control myself because I feel like once I get into this habit of buying certain wax, I'm always going to want to buy it. Um, and we've been on this mission of finishing what we have, like skincare, makeup, whatever it is, and wax melts. Wax melts is probably the worst because it's so much easier to buy wax melts. Anyways, so we have here hot pie, and this has notes of Palo Santo, sugar donuts, hints of chai, and a dash of pink chiffon. And this is how it looks. And everyone just talks about this one a lot. They say it's very different, it's very unique. I've never, I've, I don't think I've ever actually smelled pink chiffon before, but the notes sound very intriguing. Um, oh, that's really pretty. I like, you know, me and my sparkles. I love me some sparkles. So beautiful. I wish the lighting was, oh, there we go. Lighting's much better this way. Anyways. Oh. That's really different. Oh, that's very pretty. I like this blend. Let me pop this thing out. That's very pretty. Wow. I'm definitely getting the chai. I'm getting the sugar donuts. 
Palo Santo, it's like in the background. But I'm not sure what pink, I need to, I think I just need to smell pink chiffon on its own. I'm assuming it's kind of like a perfumey, a perfumey scent. Oh, this is beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I definitely love this one. Very, very nice. Very nice. I'm excited to warm this one for sure. I would definitely repurchase this. Like, absolutely. I'm loving, loving this blend. Okay. Next up, we have. Hold on a second. Let me close this thing up. We don't want to lose any smell now, do we? Okay. Next up, we have Fireside S'mores, and this has toasted marshmallows, warm graham crackers, whipped vanilla, and Fireside. Fireside S'mores. My dog's in the back just chilling. He went to go lie on the blanket. He loves blankets. Fireside S'mores. Oh, so pretty. Love the glitter. Look at that. You guys need to get a look at the glitter. Always so nice. That's really nice. It's kind of reminding me a little bit of... I feel like Scentsy is always going to be the comparison because everyone knows Scentsy. This is kind of reminding me a little bit of toasted uh, toasted marshmallow. And of course the Go Train is making its way in the background. Don't you hate when like all these loud sounds are just interrupting you as you're trying to film? This is really nice. I get a little bit of the smokiness. I get the sweetness from the marshmallows. I don't know if I'm picking up graham crackers though. Yeah, on the bottom I smell it more. Mmm, that's really nice. This will definitely be a nice scent for the fall time. So I will not be touching this one. I'll let it sit and uh, cook for a little bit longer. Honestly, I've started to notice that um, I kind of don't care what I, like, I used to be very seasonal. And now I find that, like, I'm not as seasonal as I used to be. I mean, I'm, I'm still pretty seasonal, but like, I don't know if I'm, if I'm in the mood for something, I'm just going to warm it. If it's summer and it's, it just happens to be a cold day, I'm going to put something that I would probably warm in the, in the fall time. Okay. Next we have Earl Ingstad. This has notes of cardamom cream, Palo Santo, Earl Grey tea, sweet pastries, and sugar crystals. Earl Ingstad. And the glitter, very, very pretty. Ooh, you definitely get the Earl Grey tea. Mm. That's really pretty. You get the cardamom. I get a little bit of like lavender from that Earl Grey tea. I get the sweetness. Palo Santo, it's not too heavy, which is nice. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, Cairo! Hold on, it's gonna throw up. Ah, no! Okay, so I have no idea what I was last saying. I just, you know when you hear that sound your dog makes and you know they're gonna throw up? Yeah, that's exactly what happened and I wanted to make sure he was not on the couch doing it because then that means my couch was gonna have a stain of vomit and it thankfully happened on the floor. Oh my god, dogs will eat anything, I tell you, it's so annoying. Anyways, um, Earl Ingstad, yes, um, I'm really loving the scent. It's cozy, it's warm, it's definitely something I would warm right now. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so yum. I love this. This is literally everything. 
Oh, it's really, really good. Okay, let's put this one back in. <clears throat> let's go to the next scent. All right, next souffle we have is Rustic Cashmere and Cookies. And this has notes of Rosa Pinecone, Signature Sugar Cookies, and Cashmere Cream. <clears throat> and you have the glitter. Beautiful. That's very pretty. It's a little bit soft. You get the roasted pine cones, you get the cookies, you get the cashmere, very, very pretty. It's like a creamy, woodsy cookie scent. Mm, that's really good, I like this. I'm also very proud of, you know, how much I bought. Um, I'm glad I didn't go crazy. I could have probably gotten a few of these in tubs, but I didn't want to do everything tubs. Okay. Um, and then two more. Two more souffles. Okay. Uh, then we have, I'm really excited for this one, Key West Lime Ice Cream and Cake. And this has notes of, so the best key limes in Florida blended with the creamiest vanilla ice cream, toasty graham crackers with a side of rich white cake and salty sea air. That smells really, really nice. I don't think I'm getting any graham crackers though, but I, I'm getting white cake and I'm getting the lime. It's very creamy, it's very smoothed out. I feel like the key lime, it's a little bit tart to my nose, but I feel like it's very well rounded with the, um, uh, with the white cake, with the ice cream. Like, it really is a smooth key lime pie scent to me. Mmm, delicious. I really like this one. Very, very nice. Also, excuse the barking dog in the background. It's not my dog, it's my neighbor's dog. I live in an apartment. So, we get all different kinds of sounds here. Okay. Then we have last, my last souffle is called I Heart Vanilla Pear, and this has notes of creamy vanilla marshmallow, vanilla milkshake, marshmallow and magnolias, which is boardwalk, oh sorry, creamy vanilla marshmallow, vanilla milkshake, marshmallow and magnolias, which is the boardwalk marshmallow, blended with sweet pear and sugar nectar. So I Heart Vanilla is like the staple scent, and then she blends it with other scents. So we have I Heart Vanilla Pear. You okay, Cairo? Okay. Pretty sparkles. So pretty. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's really nice. Very, very pretty. This is like body care. Like, this is like something I would use on my body. Mmm. That's very sweet. I really like that. It's giving me a little bit of like body care, but like a little bit of candy. And I think that might be because of the sugar nectar. I love sugar nectar. I have a perfume I'm obsessed with um, from, oh my god from Clean Reserve, and it's called, is it called Sugar Nectar? Oh my God, I'm forgetting the name of it. It might be Sugar Nectar. I know there's nectar in it, and it just smells incredible. It's so good. So yeah, I'm obsessed with anything that has sugar nectar in it. It's just sweet. You get the pear. Let me pop, can I pop this one out? Yeah, I can. Mmm. Yeah, this is a winner. 
I love this. This is so far, I think this is my favorite. Out of all these, I Heart Vanilla Pear. Really, really good. I would have definitely got this in a tub if I could. Um, but this will do for now. We'll suck this for now. Okay, now we're gonna go into the tubs. Okay, so we have here, actually I'll do that one last because that's the one I'm most anticipating. We have Cozy Cookie Cake and Balsam, and this has notes of Vanilla Balsam, Fraser Fir, blended with our Cozy Cookie Cake, uh, Warm Iced White Cake, Beach Treats, Marshmallow Fireside, and Signature Sugar Cookies. That's a lot, that's a mouthful. Oh, I didn't show you. And then you have the glitter, so stunning, love it. So pretty. Mmm, that's really good. That is really, really good. Mmm. Oh, that is so yum. This is definitely a cozy cookie cake with that tree note. Oh, that's so good. So good. Let me see if this thing pops out. I don't think I've been able to pop one out from a tub yet. No, this is not coming out. She's not budging. Oh, that is so pretty. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, this is good. This is really, really good. All right, next up we have pistachio bread pudding, and this is toasted pistachios, glazed donuts, hints of cinnamon, cream soaked bread, brown sugar, and sweet vanilla. And you got the glitter. Mmm. Yes, you get the bread pudding. Oh, that's so good. I get the pistachios. I get the brown sugar. I get the soaked bread. I get the cinnamon. I don't get glazed donuts, though. Oh, that's good, though. Mmm. Okay, so far, I'm very happy with the tubs I'm getting. Or the sense I got in tubs. Oh, that's so yum. So yum. Okay. And then we only have three more. Yeah, three more. Okay, this is another talk of the town. Whip Staff Manor. Uh, crisp, crisp fall air, cedar wood crunchy leaves, hints of apples and hints of apples and fall spice, toasted marshmallows, and charred pumpkin. And then you have beauty. Ooh, that is so pretty. Some textured glitter on there. Gorgeous. You know, I love my gold colors. This one's a little bit light. But I, def I definitely get the crisp fall air. I get the leaves. I get a hint of the apples. Ugh, let me see if I can pop this thing out. Oh, this one can pop out. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm getting the pumpkin on the bottom. And the marshmallows. Not, I'm not really getting hints of apple. But this is definitely a very fresh scent. This is definitely fall appropriate. I would not be using this anytime soon a little too crisp for me okay then we have i don't know this one just sounded really good malted marshmallow and sugar cookies and this is sweet dough sugar cookies brown butter a pinch of cinnamon sugar vanilla tonka malted milk and roasted marshmallows okay This one is so pretty. Oh my god. I really love the glitter on this one. Oh. Hmm. 
Okay, so I'm getting cookie. I'm getting brown butter. I'm getting cinnamon sugar. I feel like I'm getting a salty note in this. Don't want anything to... Oh, okay, I already broke a little bit. Oh, yeah. When I smell the bottom, I smell a little bit of like a saltiness. Hmm. That's interesting. Almost like there's some pretzel in here. Ooh. Hmm, that's really, really nice though. I really like this one. Hold on, I don't wanna... Some wax fell out. Don't wanna let any of the wax go to waste. That's really pretty. I would warm this right now. But I'm gonna let this one sit for a little bit longer because I want it to be nice and strong. Okay. And last but not least, we got sugared chestnuts and apple butter. Everyone talked about this one. I know Charity really, really loves this one. But then I noticed everyone else was also talking about it as well. So sugar chestnuts and apple butter. This has apple butter, brown sugar, toasted chestnuts, clove, and notes of spice. Beautiful glitter. We always need to add glitter to our stuff, y'all. Oh, that's good. This is good. This is giving me apple butter frosting from Scentsy. And something else. I don't know what it is. But you get... It's giving me a little bit of the sweetness, not the not the pumpkin, obviously, but the sweetness from pumpkin cinnamon swirl mixed with some apple butter frosting. Mmm, this is really, really good. Like, really, really good. Mmm. One second. Hi, Ro. Come here. Over here, ah, ah, ah. over here. Don't even think about it. Get your little butt over here. I knew that was gonna happen. Anyways. Yeah, sugar, chestnuts, and apple butter. This is delicious. I would definitely get another tub of this. I'm not one for the loafs. Honestly, I don't care for the loaf size. I think it's like just a bit too much. I would rather just I would rather just, oh, you're back, Cairo? It's gonna go on the blanket, his, fa his favorite blanket, which is my blanket. It's my blanket, Cairo. I know you know that's my blanket. He's the cutest though, I'm obsessed with him. I'm obsessed with you, I love you. I love you, you don't wanna say hi to the camera? Can you say hi to the camera, come here. No, you don't wanna say hi? No, he's too shy, anyways. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm obsessed with this. Okay, if I were to choose my favorites right now, I feel like I need to just smell them all again. That's really good. I know I love this one. This one was okay. This one, uh, yeah, that one was okay too. I like this one, but I don't love. Okay, if I have to pick love, love, loves. This one is definitely one. Yeah, I like this one too. Oh, these are all really good. This one's very different. Yeah, okay. So, actually, hold on, maybe this one too. Oh my God. Okay. Earl Inkstad. I'm really loving this one. I would definitely get this one in a tub. Hot Pie is 
different. It's beautiful. I love this one. Really good. So hot pie, I'd get in a tub. Rustic cashmere and cookies. Oh, this one's really good too. I would also get this one in a tub. I heart vanilla pear. So if I were to pick my top three faves, I heart vanilla pear is one. Oh, it's the sugar cane. I need I need more sugar cane in my life. Definitely need that. So I heart vanilla pear I would get in a tub. Cozy cookie cake and balsam, amazing, so good. Such, sh oh, I can't even talk. Such a nice sweet tree scent. I know someone said that she has, I think it's Christmas and cookies or tree and cookies. I don't know what it is. I know there's another scent a lot of people really like from her. That's like a, a tree scent with some sweetness and they compare it to this one. But I love this one already. So I would definitely get another tub of this and I would absolutely get, and I think this was, this would probably, okay, what's my favorite? Do I have a favorite? Oh my God. I think... I think I would have to go with, ugh, I don't know. I think my toss up right now is between sugar chestnuts, apple butter, and her I Heart Vanilla Pear. They're both stunning, beautiful, love them. Cozy cookie cake and balsam. So these would be my top three. I Heart Vanilla Pear, sugar chestnuts, and apple butter, and cozy cookie cake and balsam. Those would be my top three. And then I'll give like a honorable mention to malt and marshmallows and sugar cookies. It smells really nice. I don't know if I needed it in a tub. I could have gotten this one in a souffle. It's not giving me, I don't know. It's different though. It's very nice. So that's my haul. I'm very excited to warm these. I'm definitely going to be ordering from her pre-order. I'm obsessed. Like she does such a great job with blending scents. Um, yeah, I have nothing but good things to say about Teddy Bees. Um, yeah, love Teddy Bees. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to all my social media platforms, uh, which I will link down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.